the near side arm we don't care so much about because when I slam all my weight down into my hip, that near side arm just goes wow, right under the neck, right? I had super, super, super strong guys, like big, like, I don't know why I was like 2 like, crossfit instructor, massive, all muscles, like 60. He pushes the hip and then you slam your hip down on top of his arm and it's falling on that. You know what I mean? So I'm not so worried about that. The other one is the one that's going to determine our offense. Okay? So whereas I'm not so worried about the other one as far as defense is concerned, I am always watching the other arm because I know that that's where my offense is going to come. Does that make sense to you guys? All right, great. So as we're applying, how do you sound? All of the basic side control defense stuff that, that Stan never learned is going to come into play at about second number three. Okay? Second one and two, he's going, I'm good, but something's off. Second three, he goes, oh no, this is terrible. Time to go. Not because I'm, I'm just crushing his soul and he's just like, oh, I can't take this. It's because he's choking and he doesn't understand why he's choking. Because no one ever told him about this. You know what I mean? <laughs> they said I could just sit here forever as long as I was tough. True. So I'm here and I'm just doing this to him, and this arm is mostly going to be the one that does work. Like I said, again, my hip is going to crush the other one. He's going to feel that right away. Oh, I can't bench press this guy off. So generally, when I get here, a lot of you guys were playing like with your legs way out here, and this is great. It does generate more pressure. The problem with this, though, is it gives them the guard recovery. You see what I'm saying? The knees come in really easy. So a lot of times you'll see guys uh, up there, and they, they always play with this default hand down here because they want to block that guard recovery. That's fine. But when I'm here playing it, I try to keep my knee close to his hip so that I can play with this far side arm while I'm here in the tiger So uh, one of my main and favorite attacks from here is I just bring my palm underneath the point of Stan's elbow or whoever's elbow, whatever. And then I just bring my elbow to the mat on the other side of his hip like this. And it creates a cage for his hip, but it also creates this kickstand on his elbow where if Stan tries to close his elbow, his hip stops him from closing his own elbow. And I just sit here. Guys are framing your head super hard, like to push it, open this up, uh, open up your elbow real far. No, no, just, uh, open your elbow. Extend your hand, like you're reaching for the room. There we go. They do this, and you're like, uh, and you're just eating this, like crazy pressure, and my neck is taking a beating right now. And I, I just put this here, and then I go, okay. And to him, it's the exact same amount of pressure. But now I'm not eating anything. I'm good. I can talk to you guys. I'm and the harder he presses into this, the more it just goes into his own hip. I had a guy here from another school that was a black belt, and he turned away, and he was like this. And it just created this nice little pocket. And he was just trying to slam his elbow. It's nowhere to go. I don't use any strength. It's great. So from here, this is where I like to be, right? And this is where I get all of my arm trunks, right? <coughs> Which is just another variation of the Kyogre Tom, right? Um, and in my opinion, if you have control of the far side arm and you're applying Kyogre Tommy, it can be a finish. If you don't have control of the far side arm and you're applying Kata Gitami, you should, you should mostly just look for it as an opportunity to create movement, okay? Um, but when we can trap this arm, now we start getting into the good, like, finishing power of the Kata Gitami, right? So generally for me, the good finish is here, and I just edge my elbow as I'm playing, and I edge my head down. And I just am looking to get that inside elbow behind the crown. I'm not looking to get my crown down with the top of his elbow on the back of my crown because then it smashes my head. And I'm like, Ugh. It's all about like, I'm coming from a point of broken posture and bad uh, weight distribution. And I'm trying to drive into like something that's relatively strong for Stan. So I like to just go with here and I'm, I'm just, you know, wedging this in. And I like to get my head under the inside of his elbow. And it's gonna feel less secure to you guys. It's gonna be like, oh, it feels like you need to circle his elbow. And he could just circle his elbow. That's fine, I'll just keep it climbing. He's got to figure out what to do with that thing, you know what I mean? But if I can get this, if I can get my head down and in here, then we get a katagatami just from this side of his body, okay? So I'm here, and I transition to my grip, and I use my head to trap the back side. And so now I'll stand like I gotta get out. We do an arm triangle from the same side of it, okay? It's not like the best arm triangle in the world. This isn't like the most devastating, like I've never felt a pressure like that before, arm triangle. But it's an arm triangle that traps people with half, right? So here, my head goes in, turn my head away, and I use the hook to just collect the back side of this tricep up here. And I'm still, it's the exact same motion with my shoulder that you guys just did. I'm driving it down into his throat, and I'm just pinching my head, and I have posture through my head. Stands a little crazy. It sucks. 
It's the same finishing mechanic, whether I'm here, here, <coughs> here, half guard, here, here, doesn't matter. It's always the same finishing mechanic. You understand? It's always the same how you found it. Okay, great. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go, sign up, I'm going to create. The original pressure here. Got my cross face, got his arm pin, I'm pouring everything on, playing this game. He brings his arm up, he wants to bring my head, he's trying to push my head away. Take the pressure off your head. Get this kick stand, okay? Look at that. I just drop my head down, nice and, nice and low, next to the inside of his elbow. He's still driving it down, he doesn't like this. And then I just collect right there, just posture through the arm. And then my hands come together, and I apply. Nice and easy, guys. Remember, we're choking. I don't, I'm not looking for him to go. I'm just waiting. You guys understand? Don't get there and try to squeeze super hard. This isn't what this is about. Get there, distribute your weight correctly, posture through the back side of his elbow, and wait. Okay? Posture is the key. Question? What's up, dude? Can you kind of explain the posture, what you're saying? The post like you mean by posture? Yeah. So, Posture meaning aligning my body, okay? I'm gonna open my, it, 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 crudely, I'm gonna open my shoulders. I'm gonna roll my rib cage forward, okay? And I'm gonna make sure that my spine is in line. Does that make sense to you? So if I turn my body, then I need to turn it. So when I'm in that position, I'm like this. At first, we're gonna be like this. Then we're struggling, we're trying to get in there. And then whenever it's time to finish, posture, okay? You're just opening your shoulders, bringing that good cage forward, closing everything down. Okay? So it's not just spine alignment, it's not just open shoulders, it's not just a rotation of the rib cage, it's all there. Make sense? But it's absolutely not me squeezing them like this. Because I don't know how hard I can squeeze, like pounds per square inch, I have no idea. But I can guarantee you it's not as much force as I can generate driving my body weight through. The floor will always push back with the same amount of weight you press into it. So my body weight will probably generate more pressure than me just going mm, as hard as I can, right? If I was on the bottom, we'd be talking about different things, but we're on top, so we get that nice little bonus of being on top. Okay? Questions, guys? So we're gonna go side mount, Kagatami. He's gonna frame. He's gonna open up his elbow, frame. When he does it, just kickstand. Remember to put the inside of his elbow against a nice little hook here, and then we're just gonna posture through the hook and drive the shoulder. Okay, let's do it. 